Okay, this is segment three. We're going to look at the church area of the school and walk the hall. There's the playground I spent a lot of my childhood years on at recess. Every day, after lunch, me and all the kids would go through this door and we would spend about a half hour to 45 minutes out there playing kickball and all kinds of different sports. This is where we have church, but back when I went here, this used to be the cafeteria as well as the gym. And there's the stage where I just was. Okay. Yeah, I remember we used to have a lot of school dances in here too. Good times. This is the faculty lounge. Okay. Let's go into the kitchen. Every day we used to line up right here and receive our lunches. You can go through those double doors and sit down and eat. And this is where they prepared the food. Oh, hey, look, there's some of my wife's baking. <laughs> Me and my wife made those for last Sunday. Yep, there's some of the steam tables here. And this is the dishwashing room over here, which is now a pantry, as you can see. Very old Hope Art equipment, which this thing does need repaired. Hopefully, that'll be my job. Okay, look at that. It's an old Lifeline starter from the mid '50s. There's the auditorium. Small storage room. And this is the pantry. Well, what used to be the pantry back when school was in session. And now it's just a closet. There's all the lunch trays that I used to eat off of. All kinds of different colors. See here. Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay, let's go this way. A couple closets. All right, this is what I'm excited to see, guys. This is going to be the central boiler room where you will find the fire alarm panel. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and take a look. Oh, there we go. All right, first is the Spectronics model 640 fire alarm conventional panel. Okay. 
there's the tag. Farm to trouble. Interesting. Okay. Let's go head downstairs here. Three whopping steps. <laughs> All right. Have a look. This is where plumbing, HVAC, and everything is housed. I'm not sure if Pastor is aware of this, but this building contains asbestos still. As you can tell, that's asbestos right there, so. Another little issue I have to talk to him about. That's a central boiler. Pretty small room. Oh, that's the panel. It's having trouble. There she is. Conventional panel. All right. Hey, Sarah. Okay. I didn't get any stuff. You didn't see any books? Okay. Two little bathrooms. <clears throat> hmm. Nothing fancy. Actually, another little bathroom here. That funny thing is, there's a door right there to lead into the main ladies' room. There's the men's room, which is identical to the woman's. These are just uh, various classrooms down here. I don't have time to go in every one of them, but I will show you one because they're all identical. This is all fifth and sixth grade. Hey, let's just go check this one out right here. It's a split. Oh, very retro fluorescent fixtures. Feels like a walk in the past. Hmm. 1970s, 60s, and 50s. Here's the back.
show you a little closer. The rest of them are about this size. This is a sewing room now. <laughs> Okay, that's going to conclude, I believe what I said is third part. I don't really think there's much other to explore here. I think I covered everything. So, appreciate you guys watching. Remember to subscribe, to like, and feel free to comment. Take care.